All right, so what we got here is a 2015 Ram 3500. This is my truck, 156,000 miles. Um, does a lot of towing. And it's developed a clunk in the rear end. So what is this clunk like? Well, there's no vibration, there's no whining, there's no clicking, there's no popping. It's just a clunk. It's a clunk when you let off the gas and, and then when you accelerate again. So if you're chopping the pedal, you're gonna get clunk, 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 clunk. That's what it is. Why it is, I don't know. But I'm getting ready to take the rear diff cover off. So far, this is what I do know. If you look at the drive shaft, and, and all these U-joints have been replaced before, so it's not a U-joint issue. But here's how much rotation you get by hand. That's the play. We have no up and down, no side to side play in our bearing, uh, or at least that we can reproduce by hand. So, we're gonna pull this uh, diff cover off and see what we can see. Uh, I do know that um, the original recommended diff wood was 7590. Now this is a 2015. And most likely, you know, I mean, they don't, I, I think the most dominant priority for these manufacturers is fuel mileage. So they'll put the thinnest thing in there they can get away with because they've since abandoned that and gone to 75 140. So we might have some wear, we might have some backlash issues. Um, it might just be that 75 140 is a thicker foot and that takes care of the problem. I don't know about that. But, if we don't see anything, we're gonna close it back up and uh, put in 75, 140 and then see how it likes it. If it's still clunking, then I'm gonna end up taking it apart. We're gonna just rebuild it, so. I didn't expect that one. You fucker. Unfortunately, I don't have a dial indicator here at the house. Um, I'm not gonna have any way to measure it, but the book says that you should have seven thousandths, which is, I mean, that's a piece of paper, really. And though I can't measure this play, I don't know if you can see it, you get real close you might be able to but that's more than seven thousands so we do have I believe a problem however this there's not gonna be a solution tonight uh, I'm gonna put the cover back on I'm gonna put 75 140 in it and drive it until until I can get to it I mean I can't start this project now because I got things to move. So it's just gonna have to wait. But what I don't know, I mean the gears don't look real worn. <laughs> I think this bearing over here could possibly have a problem but if we take this out new bearings are going to go back in 
and probably honestly just change the gears and everything really if you're going to take it apart i'm going to do the whole thing so i don't know to be continued but for now uh if you've got a one-ton dewey with clunking in the rear with no other indicators no other vibration no other clicking anything like that and on and off the throttle i mean i've heard a guy saying it's the yoke and i mean you're gonna have driveline vibration there's other things there you may not be aware of it but if you're really in tune there are going to be other things go along with these other solutions that people have come up with if you've got a quarter inch of driveline play while it's in neutral you can rotate it by hand you crack the cover this is probably what you're going to be looking at some play like that that's too much and that's your problem yeah it sucks but i mean those who don't embrace reality just end up wallowing in the suck a whole lot more so embrace the reality fix the problem there you go